Hey guys, Desolator News Network here with another awesome story. And I hate to pile more bad news on top of the whole COVID-19 pandemic thing, but... Well, according to my statistics, not a whole lot of you live in Zimbabwe. Strangely, I do believe it's not zero. So, hey, shout out. But uh, according to an article that came out March 8th, 2019, and I wish I could find a follow-up because I kind of want to know how this ended, there has been a scourge terrorizing the residents of... Sagola Zikwawani Village. I'm sure I nailed that one. And, I mean, the title of this article, and this is from a real actual website, the Zimbabwe Mail. I am not kidding. This is not a joke website. And, and this article is super not a joke. Goblins terrorize villagers, kill livestock and crops. And, I mean, I'm going to sound dismissive, but I'll be honest with you. I know some people who've been traveling to Africa. There's some freaky shit over there. So, I'm just reporting the news. So this article starts with residents of uh, Sigolda's Zikwa Weni whatever village are living in fear amid indications that invisible creatures suspected to be goblins have been terrorizing them since last year. Oh, so they reported on this in 2019 and it's been going on since 2018. So mysteriously killing their children, livestock, and destroying their crops. They're going after all three. So they go on to say it is said in September last year that two families lost their children due to goblin attacks. Residents expressed relief after the goblin, which was claimed to have killed the children, was destroyed by prophets. Now, I haven't spent like 20 to 25 years playing RPGs to just sit back and be like, yeah, yeah, send in the prophets, destroy the goblins. Those are at best the scouts, if not just straight up back in the home base intel gatherers, okay? I mean, even in the field spies, that's going to be the rogues, okay? Maybe scrying wizards covered by rogues or some kind of warriors. You don't be like, okay, goblin attack, send the prophets. I mean, whoever you can get to take the quest, but I mean, you got to be classed right for that. When I think goblins, I think send the warriors. And I don't mean the social justice warriors. They will get their asses kicked. I mean, real warriors. In fact, I wouldn't even send the social justice wizards, social justice paladins, just any social justice anybody. I don't think they're capable in any classification of killing a goblin. Especially since I assume some of them would probably be goblin sympathizers. So anyway, the goblins were destroyed by the prophets somehow. I don't know. Maybe they were using psychic attacks. Um, however, the peace was short-lived, as it is reported that the residents are once again subjected to suspected goblins that are said to be killing several villagers' cattle. The alleged goblins strike during the night. Staying in their homesteads has been a nightmare for community uh, members residing in Zikwaweni village under Chief Sagola. It's Africa. Why would you be outside at night? If it's not goblins, it's going to be something else. I mean, I don't know the exact local area of, of Z Zikwaweni, but... I don't even want to be outside in Wisconsin in the summer. You get mosquitoes and, like, we see foxes occasionally. They, they won't get near a human, but still. My friend Bob saw a wolf once, but now they got goblins and COVID-19. That's crazy shit. Although, the goblins may be susceptible to COVID-19. I mean, I don't know if you guys heard, but some tigers at that one zoo tested positive for COVID-19. Why were they even testing the lions? I don't know. How close are they to humans? Not very. But hey, I mean, one problem might have solved the other, you know, but they're, they're still staying indoors. So now we got a direct quote. It says, uh, every morning we wake up to the death of our cattle. At first we thought it was a thief, so we took turns in guarding the crawls, that's K-R-A-A-L-S, I don't know what that is, but okay, uh, in the hop, uh, hope of catching the thief. It was all in vain because we never caught anyone, but every morning we found a dead cow in different homesteads. Dude, I'm from Wisconsin, man. Cows are expensive or valuable, I mean, however you want to say it. That's straight money getting destroyed right there. So last year, a cleansing ceremony was carried out when some kids mysteriously died, and we thought that we would have peaceful lives. Right now, we don't know how we will be helped because we believe these goblins can be killed, but later on come back in full force. And all this was said by a villager who preferred anonymity. Village head Maluli, uh, that's a lot of consonants all put together. Uh, I'm going to go with Ndolavu. That, that sounds right. So village head uh, Maluli has not been spared from the goblin attacks. Oh, you don't want to piss off the dude who can give out quests and rewards to uh, wandering bands of adventurers. That's not smart. So far, 30 cattle have been found dead in this area. I have also lost some of my cattle, said the sad Ndolavu. He added, I am now seeking divine and traditional interventions to exercise the area. 
Once again, bro, I'm not going to tell you how to do shit over in Zimbabwe, but back where I'm from, send in the paladins and the warriors, maybe some healer backup, maybe some wizards. I mean, goblins ain't that hard to sneak up on. Send in the rogues, get them assassination kills, you know, thin the numbers before you go all out battle. You could get the diviners, point them right where to go. I mean, you got you to gotta think this out. I found that with the low strength stats of goblins, um, a, a, a disarm, like a telekinetic disarm, or a dissolve or destroy weapon spell. It leaves them with nothing but like melee punch attacks and that is just not going to do anything. They're like three feet tall. Although, since they are allegedly invisible, they might have magical powers. I'm not ruling that out. And also, I can't verify their size. I mean, maybe these are trolls? I mean, they did take down a, a cow. I mean, I'm just saying. But still, I mean, if you think, you know, one goblin versus one human, I'm going to bet on the human. Unless you keep sending in prophets and diviners, okay? Like, it, what are they going to do? Bash them on the head with the staff while they're, like, getting their robes ripped apart? That ain't how you do it. Send in the warriors. Front line. Let's go. Hell, if you're really worried, send in the tanks with the healer backup. I know this guy seems pretty smart, except for his battle tactics. But let me just back this up. He says, uh, he, he added, I am now seeking divine and traditional interventions to exercise the area. Whether it's goblins or somebody using juju, we are tired and we want the goblins or the person behind this cot. So they're still leaving it open to maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's magic, maybe it's people. Strangely wild animal attack, not um in, in the option list. I find that weird, but okay. I have heard complaints that the goblins are also destroying some villagers' crops. I am currently organizing funds so that I embark on a journey to Chippinji or something like that uh, to get a powerful traditional healer once again. Once again. Okay, I'll be the first to admit that in Neverwinter Nights Platinum, I think two... My, like, solo party cleric was mega badass. He was, like, just radiant this, sunburst that. I mean, full armor, war cleric, let's go. But you just don't see that enough in Africa. So he's raising funds to post a reward to hire a mercenary, and it's a healer class. Are you kidding me? What's he gonna do? Heal the goblins? I mean, even my mid-level 5th edition D&D uh, &D cleric can blast some, you know, some harm spells or some, you know, whatever that is, uh, necrotic touch. But I mean, he's got an AC of 18 with a shield and he's wearing like a half plate. Okay. They don't do the half plate shit out in Africa. It's too damn hot. So maybe this guy multi-classed and they're just, they're not mentioning it in this article. I wouldn't see the point of a healer to paladin mix. I mean, healer warrior that just is a paladin healer wizard. No, I got one of those stuck in my party in Baldur's Gate too. No, thanks. Not doing that again. Just 14s across the board. She got about the same hit points as a water balloon. I don't know. Maybe this dude just gonna run in, just mass stun him, and then just like drop the hammer with some sticks to snakes. You know, maybe maybe a, a mid level summoning. I don't know him. That's why I wanted to like. I want to know how this battle went. I mean, this is March 2019. It's been a year. I want to know how this shit went down. If anybody has a follow up or anybody can find it on the Zimbabwe Mail or another website, I would love to make a follow up to this video. I will say they may have been on the right track and just absolutely, you know, stop this in its tracks. If he was correct and it's not a human or creature, it is, quote, someone using Juju because, you know, they just <laughs> break curse, done. Hila walks in, Juju D's nuts, problem solved. So the article finishes with the villagers expressed concern and pleaded for an immediate solution before the attacks get serious. There's children and 30 cows dead. What, what would they consider serious? How many children and cows do they have? Is this a percentage thing? I mean, I don't know how they do stuff out in Zimbabwe, but just as an example, here in Wisconsin, where I live, this must not be native Bigfoot territory because we would have shot him by now. And by the way, some people have all kinds of misconceptions because they just don't know anything past like Hollywood and media ridiculousness. Uh, the last study I saw, if I remember this correctly, couldn't find it, I guess, in a book market, but uh, around 43% of adult individuals in America own a gun and it's like 51% of households. So about half. And they looked at the demographic of non-gun owners. It's a big cross section of people who make like 30,000 a year and less, or maybe it was 40,000. I don't remember. And like their stated reason was, I just don't have the money to buy something that expensive, which I mean, come on, it's like 180 for a shotgun. I'd still consider that a lot of money, but you know, whatever. Uh, and then the rest were basically just, Hey, I'm a Democrat. Like that was their reason. So I guess if like the people they elect as leaders tell them they don't need gun rights and they like believe it or something, I don't know. It sounds like BS to me. Ironically, they're the victims and perpetrators of more violent crimes. If they're in that demographic, in fact, just the whole democratic party in America 
Like, prison rates, drug use rates, arrest rates, oh my gosh, divorce rates, abuse rates. You know, between the two, it's really easy to see which political party has the uh, better people in it. The more moral, like, have their shit together people who don't need government handouts. Anyway, before this becomes a political rant... Yeah, people were like, that's a lot of guns. First of all, no, it isn't. Most gun owners own more guns than I do. And secondly, just generally, people are like, well, how many people really own guns? Well, if you take out California, it's probably 90% of households. Oh, and New York. Take out those two. And uh, I think, like, the average number of guns owned by someone who owns more than three guns, because three guns is like, okay, self-defense. But, like, gun enthusiasts and properly armed people, it's way higher than the number I own. So yeah, that's one of the few things that like is not a stereotype. Yeah, Americans got guns. That's a thing. That is widespread and it is true. And you know, I don't think it's a coincidence that absolutely nowhere in America do we have a goblin problem. Just saying. No offense to Zimbabwe. Okay, Chief Segola, bro. Like, seriously? You pay for the plane ticket, I will fly my ass over there and I'll kill every damn goblin I see. I'll get that shit done like three days tops. Pick up some freaking night vision with thermal options. Just, they're gone. They're, I almost feel bad for them. Got the new long barrel 1300. Mmm, let's get some goblins. I mean, I don't know what's killing your cows, but honestly, goblins, humans, or juju, I'll shoot all three if I see them. Get some salt and holy water shotgun shells. I'll, I'll shoot anything that moves. So yeah, if in the last year it hasn't gotten better, like, hit me up, bro. For real. Lowest prices in the world, rare. I mean, guys, he said in the article he's going to Chimpin to basically hire a mercenary, a powerful traditional healer. Yeah, well, I got powerful traditional shotgun shells, bro. It's a more direct approach, I'm just saying. I just realized I bought from my friend's antique shop like $10 billion in Zimbabwe dollars, which is worth like $3 US. It's not a well-managed country. Dude, you can look on eBay and get those bills for like nothing. You guys should check that shit out. So yes, as I stated, villagers expressed concern and pleaded for an immediate solution before the attacks get serious. I assume that's a typo and it meant to say much worse. Um, and then it ends with each household is currently contributing money to pay the person who will conduct the cleansing ceremony. I'll, I'll, I'll cleanse it. It'll be a little louder, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we hope they will do a good job. Yeah, well, eh. and stop this terror before it gets out of hand. Once again, clearly it's out of hand. I'm just throwing that out there. 30 cows and a couple children. That's out of hand. So uh, anyway, that was a quote from a villager who only identified herself as... Ma Kumalo. I mean, the other dude was just like, I want to prefer anonymity, but you know, maybe Ma 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 Ku Ma Kula. Damn it, I had it before. Ma Kumalo might be like John over there. I don't know. I don't, I don't speak that. I mean, if this is a really small village, though, I mean, they may be like, oh, I wonder which one of the Ma Kumalos that was. Like, should have just you know remained anonymous, especially when you're like, before it gets out of hand. Yeah, clearly it's not your children. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the whole article. I mean, go check out the Zimbabwe mail for all your awesome Zimbabwe news. And, uh, this video has been sponsored by, uh, Desolator's Goblin Extermination Service. Our methods are pretty loud and we're not insured, but we'll get the job done. And by we, I mean me, I can't afford to hire staff. Please leave your, uh, Goblin Extermination inquiries below in the comments section. I regret that already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next news story. Desolator News Network out.